Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to go over the new widget that I just released today. Uh, it is the responsive pricing plan table widget. Uh, and this widget is really great because it allows you to add uh, a pricing plan table to your Adobe Muse web website and it allows you to link the different plans uh, to different products, different subscri subscriptions. Um, and I'll go over how to link a subscription, a PayPal subscription uh, to the pricing plan table. Um, so you can choose between one and four different, uh, yeah, one and four plans. Uh, and just as an example, I'll resize the browser here. And as I'm resizing, so we can see the plans. We have starter, basic, professional, and ultra. Uh, and I'll resize, I'm resizing. You can see it's fully responsive. Then it changes uh, on this browser width. And if I keep resizing, it changes again for mobile. So it's completely responsive and it looks good on all devices. It just looks really nice. So if I click on select plan, let's say I want professional, um, it'll actually actually take me to a PayPal subscription that I've created in PayPal. Um, so if I go back here, um, each of these go to the same plan. I just made it the same plan for this, this demo, uh, but you can add up to six features for each plan. Um, you can change the icon here for each plan. You can change the, the interval, the price, and the title text here, and the title for the select button, and then you can link the select button to any any link you'd like. Uh, you can link it to a PayPal button, so PayPal subscription, uh, external link, internal link, anchor point, uh, basically any link that, that you'd like to place for the select button, you can place it here. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Um, to get access to this widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to subscribe with PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, the pricing plan table widget is right here and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with for 39 a year uh, here i have the features that are included within the widget a few of the widget options and the preview page as well and the community section down here uh, as well so here's the preview page and here you can take a look at the pricing plan table so it's a lot of fun it's fully responsive um, and anyone who has a subscription i think uh, you know you'll really like this if you have a few different plans you can offer the plans in a really nice way on your adobe muse website um, so i'll go ahead and get started um, i'll go to my adobe muse what adobe muse website and to get access to the widget you simply go into the library panel and if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. And I've abbreviated the name of the widget so it's easy to access within the library panel. So you just type in RPPT and then you have the responsive pricing plan table widget. So you can choose from one plan, two plans, three plans, or four plans. If I select one plan, it just place, uh, places it in and I have one plan to work with. Um, I can style everything within the the uh, plan here. So here in the header styling, I can style the, let me go back in here, I can style the title, I can change the font size, the text color, the font weight, uh, the header icon color, the icon here, and the icon size, uh, the plan text color, the plan, uh, yeah, the price text color, the price font size, and the font weight. And for the interval, um, I can change the text color, the opacity, the font size and the font weight. So all of this is really customizable. Um, and then for uh, to change the text and everything like that, you can go into plan one. Here you can enter the, the title. So we have starter starter here. And for the icons, um, it's using font awesome icons. So you can just click right here in the widget, click on font awesome icons, and then you have a list. And I'll close this here. You have a list of all the icons that you'd like to use. So for instance, if I wanted to use um a car let's say or let, let me type in coffee actually i like the yeah so there's a coffee icon right here you can search for icons if you'd uh, like to use them that way or to search for an icon for your site so here the name is coffee so i can click here um, and i can just copy this fa coffee so i'll hit command c to copy then i'll go back into the widget and i'll go into plan one and here i'll just paste in fa coffee and just like that, I have a coffee icon for the plan. Okay, um, and then I can set the different features. I can just type it in here, like feature one through six. The I can change the text for the select plan button. And here I would enter the PayPal URL. Um, so I have a nice infographic uh, in the widget folder. So here's the widget folder. Once it's downloaded, 
So here I have instructions on creating a subscription link in PayPal, so you can just go through those steps. And I'll show that in this tutorial as well. There's an infographic where you know it says the plans, this is the header right here, these are the features, the select plan button, and the featured plan is right here. You can have a featured plan, you can have multiple featured plans actually within the widget um, and the, uh, the uh, pricing plan table. All right, so just wanted to show that real quick. Um, and then I'll go back into the widget options and there's more instructions here. Um, I can change the text just by clicking on the widget, going to text and just picking any font. So I'll select Lotto and just like that, all the text in the widget is changed to Lotto. Looks good. So I can preview in the browser and I can stretch this out with a single plan. You can just stretch it out. The max width, you can set the max width. Um, here it's at a thousand. So once it reaches a thousand pixels, it'll stop uh, resizing. It won't get any larger than a thousand, but you can set that to larger here within the widget options. So I'll go ahead and preview in the browser. And just like that, we have one pr pricing plan. Um, and when you hover, the coffee cup uh, zooms in. So it's, it's a nice effect there as well. And you can change the color of the icon and all of that. So we see it's fully responsive, looks good. Okay, so I'll bring in um, a two plan. So just to showcase the different plans, I'll bring in uh, two plans here. And just like that, we have two plans. Looks good. If I resize, resizes, and boom, changes from mobile. Looks good. And we'll bring in three plans. I just want to showcase kind of all the, yeah, just showcasing the different plans here. Okay, there we have three plans. Just like that, resize, looks good. I can scroll down, yeah. There we go. I'd have to add more uh, website space here to scroll down. So just like that, and there we go. We have the three plans, looks good. And then uh, let's say I wanted two featured plans. I can just go into the widget options, uh, go into let's say plan three, and I'll just click this featured option here. Now the, both of these plans will have the featured styling, and you can change the featured styling and the featured plan styling here. You can change the the background color and the featured uh, text color as well. So it looks different than the, let's say, the, the plans that are not featured. All right, looks good. And if you did want multiple pricing plan tables with different styling, you would just change the, the instance number for each new pricing plan table on that particular page. All right, so yeah, I'll preview one more time for three. There we have three featured, looks good. Or two featured and we have one that's not. And then we can do four pricing plans. So I'll type in RPPT and I'll do four plans right in here, just like that. Okay, there we have four plans and yep, yeah, we'll preview in the browser. Looks good. And to link them, I'll go into the linking section. I actually have uh, linking more info. So here it shows how to link to a PayPal subscription or you can link to an internal page, external page or anchor point. Basically any link you can place in the uh, PayPal URL link here. Uh, so that, now that I've gone over you know, the widget options, um, a lot of this is just styling here, so I'm not gonna spend too much time with this. Um, but now that I've gone over these options here, um, I'll go ahead and go into PayPal and create a PayPal subscription button. Um, I do have instructions within the widget folder on how to do this, but I'll showcase this here as well. So when you log into PayPal, um, you'll see the menu up here. You wanna click on tools, and I'm actually on the tools, pa tools page already. So here, um, I'll scroll down, and then we have this PayPal buttons uh, box right here, so I'll click on it. So once I click on it, uh, it takes me to my saved buttons. I've already created a demo subscription, uh, but if you wanna create a new subscription or a new button or a new product, and you wanna link a pricing plan uh, to that button, uh, you just click here, create new button, here on the right, and it loads here. So here it says choose a button type. I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, subscriptions. I'll give it a name, I'll say uh, demo subscription, and I'll give it an ID, uh, just so I know, uh, just so it has an ID in case I wanna track it or anything. So I'll give it the ID 12. Okay, and currency, USD, you can select from all of these currencies. Um, here I don't need to customize the button because I'm not gonna be using a button. Um, and here you can say have PayPal create usernames and password for customers. Uh, billing amount, I'll say 19, uh, just like that. 
$19. And then here you can choose the billing cycle. So I'm gonna say 19 a month, that's fine. And you can select uh, actually how many months um, you want the billing cycle to be. So within the widget, there's actually the interval. You can select daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, every three months or yearly. Um, so I thought those were the most popular intervals, so I decided to place those in there. Um, so here I'll do 19 every month. Um, after how many cycles should billing stop? You can select after, you know, how many cycles you'd want the, the billing to occur and then it'll stop after that many cycles. And you can offer a trial period as well. You can use your secure merchant account ID or your primary email address. Um, those options there. Um, here are a few other options, track inventory, profit and loss, and customize advanced features. Um, you can go over all of that. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, kind of tells you what each option is. But for now, I just want a simple subscription button. Um, I can go ahead and, and edit this uh, a bit later uh, here. I'm just looking through this. Yeah, and this is the page you want the customer to go to after they check out and after they, uh, you know, if they cancel their checkout or if they finish their checkout, what page you'd like them to go to. So it has a, a lot of really nice uh, custom uh, advanced features to make the uh, subscription process or the purchasing process for your customers really nice and uh, easy there. Um, okay, so I'll go back to the button. I've uh, created the button and now I'll just click here, create button. All right, so there's the button. So at first, uh, we have all this code here. Um, and this you can't paste into the PayPal URL option in the widget. So we just want a link so we can paste it um, in the PayPal URL here. So to get the link, all you have to do is click on email. And now you have a nice link that links to that subscription. So here I'll just, uh, yeah, I can click select code and then hit command C to copy. Uh, yeah, to copy it and then I'll go into the widget. And I'll, let's say for plan one, I wanna link that to plan one. I'll just hit command V to paste and enter. And just like that, I've linked this first plan to that subscription. So now I'll go to file, preview page and browser. I'll go ahead and click on select plan and it'll bring me to the demo subscription and $19 for each month and the amount $19. I can log in and pay or I can uh, pay using credit, uh, yeah, a credit or debit card. Um, so that's that's just how easy it is to have a subscription on your Adobe Muse website now with the uh, responsive pricing plan table widget uh, found at musefreeshop.com. Um, so you can you know create other buttons and link them to the other plans and have a really nice uh, pricing plan table on your website. Um, so I think I've covered everything actually. Um, I wanted to make this fairly quick. I might make a few other video tutorials on this, uh, but you have if you have any questions on uh, this widget, just let me know. Um, the styling is pretty straightforward. It tells you what each option refers to and then yeah, you can just link it to any any plan here and enter your PayPal URL in there or if you you know if you have another um, subscription model and it has a link, you can enter it here. So then when the user clicks on the link, it'll take him to to that subscription or that product. Um, so it's really great and I can op open the link in a new page as well. So here if I click on plan one, open link in new page. Now when I go to preview and I click on it, it'll actually open in a new page so the user can go back to the site in this tab here. All right, and you can have a, a, a different icon for each, uh, each uh, subscription or each plan, just like that. There we go, we, I have a coffee cup and looks good and I can change the icon color to a different color. Every, everything is customizable. All the color colors are customizable, um, you know, to, to look really nice for your site or to match the styling of your site. I don't wanna pick a color here that's too weird. Um, so let me try, I'll just do orange. It's not gonna look great, but uh, there we go. There, I've changed the color. I can change the border color, so I can say white. Um, I can change the border width. I can do 10, make it a really large border for each of the pricing plans. Um, just like that. Orange and green doesn't look too great here, but we can see it's really customizable. You can change the border width um, and change all the colors here. For the featured plan, uh, let's say I go to featured plan styling. Um, I can change the background color. Let's say we we'll go, go to green. Now it's green. Um, and I can change the text color, let's say black. And now the featured plan has a black, uh, it was already black actually, or was it white? Okay, no, it's, yeah. So here we have the white text, 
looks good. Um, and then for the plan features, let's see here. Yeah, for the alternate color, if you notice in the pricing plan, it has kind of this uh, darker gray, like it, it alternates between colors. Um, and that's just because if we go into the plan features, we have a plan alternate color. If I were to change this to, let's say green, it'll just have a, kind of a green tint to it. And then I can change the opacity uh, to make it more green. So if I say 0.2, that alternate color is going to be a bit more visible. So I'll preview again. And then we have that alternate green color there. Uh, so everything is really customizable. Um, I think I've said that uh, a few times now. And you can customize the select button colors as well in the font size, font weight, and the background and the hover color as well. So I can say something like blue for the hover color. So now when I hover over the select plan button, it turns blue. All right, looks good. And I can select plan. It'll take me to the subscription. All right, so I didn't want to go over too much of the styling because it's, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory in the widget. Um, and I do have the infographic there. And if you have any questions on the styling, let me know. Um, I did want to make this very customizable so you can have a really nice pricing plan uh, table on your Adobe Muse, web Adobe Muse website. Um, so that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, again, to get access to this widget, you simply go to muse for you shop dot com and here you can click on the pop-up and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with for 39 a year or if you'd like to subscribe with paypal you can click here and subscribe with paypal uh, the pricing plan table widget is right here and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with for 39 a year um, here are the features included, uh, the widget options, and the preview page as well, so you can kind of play with it, see the, see the responsiveness of it, and view on different devices as well. And here's the community section. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment here, and I will uh, take a look and you know respond to any questions uh, pertaining to the, the widget here. Um, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.